hey, 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 yeah. hey. It's Monday, day, day, night at 8 p.m., which means it's time for another episode of FM Ranger. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm your host, Connor Clifton, joined as always by my lovely co-host, Ned Gale. Ned, how the heck are you? Doing great. I was going to hit that applause thing, and I was like, oh, I don't I don't have my phone on me, so I can't uh, do that thing where I'm applauding myself. You know what? No, wait, wait, give me a second. We only- Ask me how I'm doing. How you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> you know, we really only have um, technical snafus just like this when there's a lot of pre-production going on. Yeah, when there's a lot of moving parts, that's when you're going to expect to see some flubs, not on just a day where we're kind of doing the same thing we do every week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. we're. Uh, this is all muscle memory, so if you add something new to the equation, we get thrown for a friggin' loop-de-doop. Yeah, something to the equation like, I had half a beer before this, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just gone. <laughs> Ned, how was your freaking weekend? Man... I had a great weekend. Drove uh, over to San Antonio, home of the famous Alamo. Did not see it, did not remember it. Uh, went over to go see one of my high school friends, Hunter, uh, perform as Hunter Dollars. Ooh. Fantastic rap extraordinaire. And actually got to see a couple other rappers as well. Like who? Yeah. Well, I brought here a fantastic uh, piece of merch from one of those rappers. <laughs> Everyone we saw that night. I want to say right now, Hunter Dollars, 10 out of 10 performance. Fantastic. And something like just just for me, the casual uh, rap fan. I don't go to a lot of like rap shows or hip hop shows or ragtag uh, goof around uh, rhyme time uh, shows. Any of that. I don't. That's not my my normal scene. <laughs> so I'm not used to like how people perform and what is like normal for like the indie rap scene. Mm. And what's normal is people use backtracks of their vocals for every song, and that's fucking nuts to me. Mm. Like uh, like. Well, what do you mean? So they're just playing like the song, like the originally recorded song with their vocals on it, and then they're rapping over that. What? So a lot of times people are like, hey, I'm doing rapping. My name is Ned. Hey, I'm doing rap. And then they just take the mic away, and they're like, and the song is just like still going. And it's like, well, that's not fun. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, Hunter does not do that at all. And he just like goes fucking hard. And, cool. Like, you can understand everything he's saying because it's not garbled over too vocal tracks that are mm -hmm. like you're not going to sing the same way you did in the recording some people were much more powerful yeah. some people were much more weak <laughs> uh so i don't know it was it was very weird to see that and uh the only other rapper that actually i think this guy was using a backing track but he was just like so fucking in your face he was doing some like some matt graham shit he was like running in the audience running outside with his mic just going crazy i'm talking about your boy right here Talking about Joshua Bills. <laughs> <laughs> now, Ned, is that uh, uh, legal currency? Can you spend that hundred dollars? You know what? Our delivery person's about to tell us that uh, <laughs> in twenty minutes. No, I'm kidding. Uh, this is a uh, this is priceless. That's what yeah. this is. Mm -hmm. uh, almost as priceless as the T-shirt that Cody caught, uh, which is this official Josh Bills merchandise. Uh, that mic's in the way. I'm gonna need about. 200. Got bills? Got bills. And as you can see on What's the shirt right here, it says shirt? max, max, out, out, max, max out, out, max out, max out, max out. He said that a lot. Cool. <laughs> Someone uh, said sucks bucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to put this, uh, I'm now placing this in my wallet uh, for later jokes. And speaking of which, Connor, I was actually just going to ask you uh, just now. Is this your card? Yep. The Ace of Diamonds. That's right, motherfuckers. Ned, what is your I favorite? Did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Ned, what is your favorite hundred dollars lyric? Uh, I really like the hook on the song. Fuck good, look good, smell good, baby. And how does that hook go? There right, you go. Look good, smell good, fuck good, baby. All right. <laughs> Turning all his heads while I'm driving my Mercedes. <laughs> Do you drive a Mercedes? I uh, I don't think so. I does, drove yeah, or does he drive school. like a Corolla or something? He drives uh, the official car of Adam Corolla. <laughs> that is a bird scooter. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what he drives. So what else did you do out there? Uh, we stayed with Cody's brother and their family and uh, did a lot of family stuff. Just like hung around, watched TV. I watched a lot of New Girl. <laughs> oh. It was fun. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> um... We visited his sister, who hadn't seen him in like five years. So that was like kind of fun. They uh, were telling us about uh, they had to scorch their house because of termites. So they like 
raise the heat of the house super hot. <laughs> oh, like, try to eat this wood, will you? And then yeah. torch it all to the ground. <laughs> yeah, they used a dirt flame log and lit it. And like, eat this, motherfucker! <laughs> no, that, that was, they were just telling like, uh, it's not like a crazy thing to do to your house. I'm glad we never have to do that. I think you do that for like bed bugs and termites. Like, he, heat them out. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 It just sounds intense. She said some of her LPs got ruined. I said, why'd you leave them there? Uh, <laughs> Whoa! You, you have to take out like all the plastic in your house, like entirely. So wow. I, I was like really surprised. There weren't a lot of pictures up, and I wasn't going to say anything because yeah, you know, I'm not that guy. But but she was like, oh no, I've only put up one picture since we uh, had to heat up the house, and then she told the whole story. I'm what like, uh, Whoa. what would you have said if you were that guy? Uh, looking pretty uh uh, uh fung uh <laughs> no way right. That's what I would say. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing like that. Where are all the photos of your ugly kids? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess your uh, your your family must be pretty uh, fucking ugly if you don't have any pictures of them on the wall. I have never seen these no. kids. Uh, I actually, don't even know who these people are. They're actually are. very beautiful. Actually, and everyone really. was uh, insanely sweet. If any of you are watching somehow, uh, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for this fantastic weekend. I really enjoyed it. Oh, instead of feng shui, oh, feng dismay. Feng dismay. That's much funnier. I like that. You should host the show, Maria. <laughs> um. All right. Anything He's, else? Yeah, it was a hundred dollars. Josh Bill's double bill. <laughs> Who is that? Who oh, is what? Oh, bah. <laughs> is someone? Is someone being a sneaky? I think it's actually Sneaky Pete. What do you mean? Wait. Oh, it, oh no. Uh, Oh, don't even is saying who is that? Don't dox uh, people. No, oh, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not that they've ever doxed themselves on this show before. <laughs> my apologies. My I think apologies. I think everyone in this chat knows who everyone is. I've asked people before, like, who are you? Dox yourself, and they just said, "LOL." And then I see the view count go down. <laughs> um, so I don't think they're really, you know, sticking around for that. Uh, my weekend, I didn't do anything. I stayed home. No, that's not true. I went. You recorded a podcast, my friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, my seat adjusted. I'm gonna have to fix that on the break. Uh, Do you want to fix it real quick instead? Yeah. Do you want me to mic it? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Maria, Emily, and I recorded another episode of We're Calling It. That's coming out this week. Keep an eye out. Um, but I also went to the DSA meetup on Saturday. It was cool. I made a friend. Hell yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Um, Are they going to be on the show soon? Or do you want to subject them to that yet? <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> it, okay, it, no <laughs> new guests. All right. It's fine. There, there's an episode of Downton Abbey where Mr. Carson, the butler, uh, an old friend of his arrives at Downton Abbey, and uh, he blackmails Mr. Carson. like, I'll tell everyone about your past. The wheel. You've got to give me some pounds. Wait, what was his past? Uh, so it's revealed at the very end, after he pays this charlatan's ransom, uh, he tells the Lord... Uh, Lord Graham? Of the, uh, of Wrong. the, of the Abbey... <laughs> Um, he says that um, he used to be a vaudevillian who traveled the countryside performing, and he was so embarrassed. Uh, and now he had a serviceable, like, brilliant job as a butler, and he now had honor and pride. And his uh, the master's like, you know what? I think whoever you were in the past amounts to nothing to the man you are today. And, uh, you know, it's a beautiful episode, I guess. It's kind of beautiful. I'd be livid if anyone found out I was a performer. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how I felt at this DSA meetup. Yeah. So they're like, so what did you do before the pandemic? I'm like, uh, uh, nothing. Uh, it's main, uh, mainly breaking my finger in my own ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> uh, Grantham. I don't even watch it. Ella, bull fucking shit. I, I, we have talked out in Abbey. Release the podcast, leak it, or I'll call in with beef. I'll, I'll put it out What's soon. that beef you say? Mm. That's right. We got new beef coming in. Hot. We got some new beef coming but in. Not yet. Um, but you know what? Why don't we take a little break and talk about what we do actually have coming in, which is our guest today. Ooh, well, I can't wait. Bye. And, and we're, we're back. back. <laughs> I didn't get the memo on how our guest is coming out. So please, he said it like five times. <laughs> uh, you didn't get the memo on listening. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Why don't you, why don't you uh, roll something out about that guy here? I'll give you a zoom in. 
Your guest today, you know him, you love him. He was uh, the first guest on the KPFT version of the show. He was one half of uh, Good Evening with Connor and Billy before it expanded to 13 people. Uh, he's a part of Futile Society, and he's a wonderful musician and friend. Please give a warm welcome to Billy Trim. Cha cha cha, michelada. Cha cha cha, michelada. Cha cha cha, michelada. Cha cha cha, chicky chicky boom. All right, sit down. Wow, that smells good. What's going on? What is this that you brought out for us? I brought a michelada. Michi for me. I'm really surprised y'all haven't looked in this direction because I actually brought a sampling of micheladas today. Wait, which direction? What right the? There. Oh my God! Well, reach for it. Oh, oh what are we, we calling really, these? The really stars think about now. This. <laughs> all right, Billy. What is going on with all this michelada stuff? Well, <laughs> let's go ahead and just move some of it over. I guess. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I was at the gas station and I got a beer, and then. They had a michelada mix, and I thought, ooh, it's summertime, baby. We're going for this. Yes, sir. Um, and then I made Ned cry, and I walked and got more michelada mixes so we could <laughs> do <you>. a sampling. <laughs> All right. I don't think I've ever had a michelada. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, man. So tell me what's going on with this drink. Um, which which one do we want to clock into first? Hang on here? a second. This cup says add 32 ounces of your beer or favorite beverage, and this is only 16 ounces. Yeah, we're going tart. Yeah, we're going we to need two of those. We're going tart. I'm uh, going to go tart with it. Oh, is it, was that an intentional decision? Wait, what do you mean by going tart? Uh, you know, it's just going to be like a little more uh, michelada. Oh, we should have just put sour, one bag in there. Be a little more <laughs> spicy. Oh, 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 yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Whatever, we're living it. So we're, what we're is a michelada? Um, it's a- <laughs> As Haunted Fortress called it, the spaghettios of beer. <laughs> Pretty damn accurate. It's like uh. a Mexican savory beer cocktail. Um, a lot of people think it's like Clamato in beer, which it can be, but there are a lot of different versions. Uh, a lot of the good places, they make their own house mixes. I like Teotihuacan's Michelada a lot. Um, Grand Prize makes a pickle beer michelada I'm very fond of But today we have a couple different takes So this is like liquid concentrate michelada I'm not gonna There's liquid in there No, no, show it, show it, show it Well, I don't wanna pour Easy, easy, easy Okay, okay, that's enough, that's enough they can see okay. the, the yeah, wet on the sides. Yeah, there's a wet on the sides. The, this is a side wetter. Yeah, <laughs> Michi Cam. <laughs> this, is, this is a powder boy. Okay, we can show that off. So, Michi Cam. Yeah, I don't want to snort right. that, you Montrose fiends. <laughs> <laughs> I better not see you taking that cup into the grand prize bathroom. <laughs> and then uh, I, have, I take a lot of sniffly selfies. Um, and then this is a, a mix, a little Michelada. A mixed a mixed gelada. Mix. Where you mix this, this you mix with a twelve ounce beer. Is that that whole thing goes for a twelve ounce? I think it's the whole thing. That's what we think it says. I think, I think we should just do a thing. shot of it. Jumbotron a lot of. <laughs> That's the take. <ticket. laughs> oh, Nicromancy wants to know the brand names. So in this, we've got the um, this Michelada Michelada. Yeah. I guess <laughs> this is Don Chilada, uh family heir to the Chilada let's, Empire. Let's let's get a look at that face right there. Yeah, yeah. What, you had a joke about that face. <laughs> Go ahead and tell yeah, it. Yeah, so Don Chilada looks like a child who really wants a Michelada and put on a fake mustache and got asked like, uh, "What's the what's the name on this idea? What's your name, uh, Don?" <laughs> Chilada. <laughs> Ruth, Ruth Aubrey is asking, "Are we guessing which will be best?" Y'all can. Yeah, absolutely. I, I've I've never had them, so I'm just gonna try them. And I'm I'm um you know this is the summer of coconut curls in my hair and chiladas <laughs> in my beer glass. Do you think I should pour out half of this, or are you down to just get dirty with? I it? I think we should just throw two beers in there. Okay. Nick Romanti is asking, "Are the rims spiced?" The rims yes. are looking spiced on here. The the prepackaged ones have spiced. This rims. one does not have a spiced rim. I don't uh, know if y'all this, have tahine. This comes from Twang Reserve. We do not. Uh, Twang Reserve, the fancy version of Twang. It says we're supposed to uh, use Twang on the Ooh, side of the glass. they make those salts, right? right. The Twang salts? Yeah, yeah, it says garnish with Twang, beer salt, and a lime. Which is just like an upper-class Lucas. Do you remember Lucas? <laughs> yeah, I remember Lucas. <laughs> upper-class Lucas is the name of my ska band. Ruth Aubrey saying, I think the sauce cup is going to be the best. That big one that you got, Billy. 
Ned yes, said sir. this would be the best. This is a good one. I, ha- had I had this one, one last week. Yeah. Don Chalada so. needs an R rated movie. Did you you just put that one in there? Look at that head. Yeah. I think so. The damn top. Head is dancing, popping, bubbling. All right. Are um, we mixing? Is there another Lone Star there? Or are we mixing beers? No, there's not another Lone Star. Love it. Billy, Billy wanted to go tart. He wanted to. <laughs> no, we should put one more beer in there. Trust right, me. We'll, well this will be, be 28 ounces. I did. So I made a rolling. Still be like God. Lone tart. Star, Miller Light. I made a rolling and rock the Michelada chalada. Michelada doesn't matter. Those. The Michelada does not care what kind of beer you put into it. As long as it's not like an IPA or like a stout or something. Or a sour. But any like Pilsner lager. Yeah. Hey. I Actually, mean, a sour might be kind of funny pickle, as fuck. Pickle beer sour is good. Or pickle beer Michelada is good. Ah, uh, here we go. Damn, first mistake is that you're doing this with Lone Star. self Hades. We have other beer here. Oh, yeah. We got Modelo's in the fridge. Why don't we you use can, the Modelo's? You don't need... Whatever. I'll drink Micheladas my Modelo. way. Modelo. All right. I'll go get a Modelo. Yeah. If I'm out of, you know, sometimes I'll do like Dos Equis, wow. but everyone is so mad that you're not using <laughs> Modelo. <laughs> Now, I don't it care. Does say, I believe it says uh, a, a ice cold beer or your favorite beverage. So yeah. friends, you don't even have milk. to use beer. Yeah, we're, you can we're use doing milk. milk. Danimals drinkable yogurt. There's I so many options. Curdle. The whole, like, okay, like... Do we need to stir that Maybe up? if I were at a nice restaurant that had a really nice michelada, I'd get, like, the appropriate beer. But this is a cup full of weird chemical liquid. <laughs> yeah, give me that like, zoom, because I got the Modelo. Yes, go. sir. All right. Oh, this is very full. Yeah, t- tell us your favorite uh, drinks you like to throw in the uh, the old thing. In in a cup like this from a gas station, I'll just find, like, the cheapest I think you should put a 40 in there. <laughs> Any, just like a Lone Star, I'll do a High Life. I don't care. I'm a dirty rat boy drinking a gas station michelada. Do you uh, do you need something to stir that with? I, I don't. Th- I mean, this was like the liquid one. I think the powder one. We're gonna. I'm gonna stir, stir the, the liquid one up as well. Yeah, okay. get a chop. Cha- well, cake. we do have mate latte. I, I have lata. a thing. I have a thing. There was the one for the powder. Man, why is everyone getting so upset about the? Mot- is that really like the rule, or is that one of those like? Like they are they big fans? Like, no, they're just mad about how good I make it look. <laughs> is it like the no beans and take yeah, chili actually, thing? Is someone, it like a, yeah, someone call in and explain to us why we need to use a Modelo instead. I don't know yeah. if this is like old school Show me old the school rules or if it's just like a thing. I didn't know it's gonna get Mitchell out of playing by Jason Schwartzman. <laughs> What's happening? That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I like that. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> You got me. Good thing they can't throw eggs in this chat. All right. Uh, hand me one of those cups, and I'll pour this Modelo in there. All right. Yeah. All right. This is ready to so go. It's already this powdered. is the powder. We're going to have to stir that. And then let's get... Let's wait on that one a little bit. Okay. Let's go. Oh, wait. Should we try these before we spread them around? Yeah, let's give okay, them a Okay, little... yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, All right. let's give it a pass around. Are little... you are you a Bloody Mary fan, Connor? Nah. All right. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good point of comparison. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> it's all right maybe he, the no, boy <laughs> loves it <laughs> maybe he loves starts to problem i think he needed a modello let's see all right i'll get this one going lone star was the problem i'm the problem i think this needs to be stirred more we can stir it either. Well, yeah. that's good it's pretty good i think it's good Ooh, hear that sizzle in the mic. Yes, sir. You only get some delay on that. Oh, shit. All right, did you only put the delay I turned on it off. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Fair enough. You good? Washed. Did you get some on here? Yeah, I just oh, washed these shorts. Damn, I'm sorry. That's all right. That's what I get for trying to get good audio. <laughs> hey, it was the a, sacrifices was we make for this show. Dang, I think I need to pour more into this. You, you can toss a little Dello in there. How, how many ounces did it say to uh, add there? And then also see what twenty four ounces. See what the chat says because they're gonna be fucking insane if you do something wrong. They're apparently. gonna be re- well. They're already mad at me, so that's okay. Like or they're mad at the with you know too. the Coppola known as Jason Schwartzman. So at least I have someone else I can offload this anger onto. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it's good. Look at that bubby head. So bubbly. Woo. Man, that's just going to pop and get all over the mic and use, everything. Use the straw to... There it goes. There it goes. It's naturally. Then you have a tasty going mic. Going down. Mm. Mm. Is that the spicy one? That is the spicy one. Very exciting. And it has 
a new blast rim. <laughs> it's got a new blasted rim. It has you, a blasted once you stir that, can you show that to the uh, to the <laughs> audience here? <laughs> All flavors are blasted in the decade of 2020 and on. It's like everything is blasted now. Oh, you can't really see uh, that. You can't see Jesus, it. Jesus, this uh, focus sucks shit. Just a heads up, y'all are drinking like a lot of salt. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I, I think I will only That's have fine. three sips tonight. <laughs> That's fine. I'll work my way through these. <laughs> I, I, I saw a cardiologist right. in the last Here we go. The, the spicy chilada. I saw a cardiologist, and he specifically said not to do this. <laughs> All right. All right. This is only forty six percent of your daily value of salt, and I. Oh, okay. So we knocked that out pretty I'm only easily. Have like one. So. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You okay, Connor? Yeah, man, I'm good. <laughs> not as not as good. Not as good. Not as good as the liquid one. No. It's probably because of the Modelo. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh well, mm, no, that one's bad. <laughs> yeah, not a fan of this one. What's going on with that one? I I think the powder. It's like a little too savory it's kind of bitter yeah right it's got like some weird we have some bitters we can pour into that if you want yeah go all the way yeah (laughs) so should we try this one for the fuck of it because i'm probably just gonna toss that out yeah yeah maybe i don't know i'll I'll go ahead and take care of that one and grab i guess i'll grab another modello but it'll be room temp okay uh hmm maybe we shouldn't do that (laughs) i we can flash freeze it or we can just use one of these miller lights I'm cool with the Miller Lights. All right, Miller Lights it is. Yeah, I'm fine with that too. Do we want to get? <laughs> what do we say, Chad? How are we feeling? I've become like the villain of this Chugging season Lucas. very quickly. I know. Hey, this came out. This uh, when we tried Micheladas on the stacks, it was more well received. I feel like. Uh, <laughs> That's true. I, yeah, I had a Michelada on the. Is stacks. that is that so? It's the whole thing. Is it two point five ounces? Is that thing. is that what we're looking at here? Just making sure. Two and a half ounces and twelve ounces, and this. Yeah, yeah, oh, is, yeah, we're good. Yeah, it says enough for a twelve ounce beer. Pour yeah, it so we can score it. Do you want to zoom? Want to get a zoom? Uh, yeah, I'll get a zoom on that. I'll go sideways on the cup so you can see this. How's that glug? Yeah. Ooh, that's that's nice yes. and thick. Yes, yes. Actually, let's just drink that. Yeah. I like. Oh God. How's that? We'll see how it is with the beer in it. <laughs> This actually has a SpaghettiOs kind of taste, which is interesting. Which is lucky. It is, it's very lucky. We're so just maybe so we're blessed. having an actual... The aftertaste is not as bad. Maybe it, the, the tail on it is good. I tell you do. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I fucked up. up. Did I fuck up? No, no, no. Perfect it's pour, bad. my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Very good. I also got to wonder if the salt... Ooh. Content includes these blasted rims. <laughs> yeah, Ellen Bodker is talking about uh, getting a frozen pineapple and making a smoothie with it. That sounds fucking delicious. That does sound pretty good. That sounds so good. That sounds really good. Yeah. People put tahini on pineapple. I think that sounds like a great combination. Nick Romancy says, fun tip, use beer instead of water and a spicy cup of noodles for that authentic, thick, warm gelada. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to boil the beer? Yep. <laughs> okay. Or else the noodles won't kick. Don't I learned something new every day. Well, if I weren't dumb, you wouldn't have had me on the show. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> Do you need a chopstick? Do you need to stir that up? Yeah, I should probably stir this All up. Right. Oh, did you, uh, is that straw it. still around here? No. Uh, probably no. got tossed with the other michelada. <laughs> Micha straw uh, okay. dog. So I think it's safe to say that powder-based micheladas are lesser than liquid-based micheladas. Sick. All right. We are using, of course, the Minions uh, chopstick here. The Minions, if you want to join the Minions chat, you may, but your fate will be sealed if you do. Oh, Daddy's already got a sodium headache, kids. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not all I had it. <laughs> I am well, too, I'm sure those I'm wings like, will fix I'm, it later. Yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of into it. Yeah, there's not a lot of sodium in Wingstop. Okay. Connor, you want to... All right. All right. This the, is the third the, and last one. This the is last a, lot of The last you're think, being subjected to. Go ahead and try it. <laughs> it looks like peppered Yoohoo. <laughs> All right. I, I can tell you right now that just from sucking that chopstick, this is easily the worst one. <laughs> and you are 100% right. That is just SpaghettiOs mixed. Oh, fuck. This is like spaghetti o water. Uh, uh. Right, it's like I'm drinking a Slim Jim. 
You know, most <laughs> most drinks. <laughs> most, <laughs> folks, you heard it here first. <laughs> Do not get the twang reserved. <laughs> Don't get the twang. <laughs> Don't Ugh. get the donchalada. It's funny because most drinks that look like diarrhea don't taste like diarrhea. Yeah, this one. This uh, is an exception. This one is uh, pure diarrhea uh, yeah. through and through. It God. is. That tastes like shit. That's a uh, very um, bad. Very unpleasant. Very like bile. It has like a bile. It kind of tastes like it already came up. Hey, why don't you go ahead and zoom in on that cup, dude? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. A little for this. Yeah. yeah. That we're talking about. <laughs> oh, <what? News. laughs> Four twenty. <laughs> This one's good though, so I'm glad I'm holding this one. And Ned, if you want more sips on this, you're yeah, I do want some of that. I do. I see that one's a good one. Oh shit! What is this? Mexican lager beer, or beer, Colmado. Two, three, four splashes hot sauce. Oh, okay. Valdivia is giving us a drink or three. Hey, yeah, sound I off like in that. the chat if you remember what the F and Rager shot is, and we'll um, I don't know, send you one or something. <laughs> Oh, speaking. And I don't know. We'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of shots, I was actually contracted by Vanity Fair recently to come up with um, some like summer cocktails and recipes. And I was told for this media appearance that I could tell you the recipe for one of the cocktails I came up with. Okay, what do you okay, got? but only one. Um, so it's called the it's called the Uncle Frank, um, and there are two variations that I'll get to at the end. Uh, but basically, it's. Uh, so an Uncle Frank was inspired by my Uncle Frank at summer barbecues I would go to. So it's not only a cocktail that kind of smells and reminds me of him, but it also makes me feel like him when I drink it. Uh huh. Um, so that is, you, you're going to want to start off with some mustard water. Uh huh. <laughs> you know how? What, what you, why are you saying mustard water? Say well, that again. Okay, so you know. <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> you know, like mustard water, when you squeeze mustard and the water comes out before the mustard? Yeah. You're going to need that. Okay. You're going to need hot dog water. Are y'all boilers or grillers of hot dogs? Oh, I make oven hot dogs. I okay. uh, I plug them into uh, jumper cables and then just start my car. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Give it about 20 seconds. Well, if you care about flavor, you're going to need some hot dog water. You're going to need to boil your hot dogs. I would say use half the water most recipes call for, so you get a more concentrated frank flavor. You okay. Know? Talking um, about making it tart. Yeah. And then this... The amount of vodka varies. I just put in the recipe enough to embarrass your nephew, um, but whatever that is. Uh, and then the variation is if you want it dirty or not dirty, you either garnish with some grated onion or clean is not. And then this is like the cherry on top, and this does a couple different oh, there's things. Oh, there's a cherry. <laughs> yeah, it's belly button lint. Um, and that does a couple things. It kind of completes. I don't have any. The, the theater of the mind that I associate, you know, like the just the act of it really reminds me of my uncle. And he was a really heavy smoker. And when that lint hits your throat, you start coughing real, real hard. And then you're smelling like mustard and hot dog water. If you're going dirty, that's the real Uncle Frank experience. You're going to be uh -huh. a little sweaty. Yeah. Your sweat's going to smell bad. You're going to be coughing from that belly button lint. <laughs> yeah. um, and you can check out Vanity Fair next month for the summer recipes issue. That one's going to be in there. Along with the Aunt Mildred, that one requires a little more. Prep. What's in the Aunt Mildred? I'm not clear to say that. He said he could only say one. But, of them. Uh, ah, they're not watching our show. We can bleep it out. You're gonna want to buy a lot of blood. <laughs> human, chicken. What are we talking? It, well, it's easier to buy animal blood than human blood, and that's not like specific knowledge. I know. I just don't know a lot of human butchers. I'm not saying I've tried to buy human blood. Yeah, yeah. No. I'm just saying. Logic and reason dictate it's easier to buy non-human blood. Uh, I'll buy it. So, <laughs> what's been up, Billy? How have you been spending quarantine? <laughs> wow. Uh, well, let's just start off with the hard-hitting facts. I'm a <laughs> Pfizer boy. This one kicks Yo, ass. Talk about that. Yeah, you're Pfizer. I got Pfizer. My have man. you been going out? Up. Have you been living life again? I have lately. Like once I got vaccinated and I got a car again, I was like, "Hey, like I want to hang out." Um, so I've been hanging out like responsibly within reason. Uh, I have one rule I follow, which is like wherever I go, uh, if the bartenders or whoever work there are wearing masks. I wear a mask. Mm -hmm. If the people who are working there are not wearing masks, then I'll take the mask off. Okay. Um, but I want to avoid feeling like I'm lording 
my consumer power over a slave to capitalism or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. So I try not to do that. Um, but yeah, I've just been hanging out. I've uh, been just trying to get a band started. So we jammed last week. Yeah, we did some rocking and rolling. Did mm-hmm. some rock and rolling. Pretty and good. I, did, I wasn't going to implicate him without his permission. But no, no, I did. I, I actually, the I've got the uh, audio files I never sent you guys uh, right oh, here. Wait, nice. wait, before you right play, there. before you play, <laughs> I'm not going to play before any of them. Before you play They're any of them, I just want to say, Billy, what's a question you want to pose to the audience to get people calling? Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's get these phone lines truly open. Let, let's talk about summertime foods and summertime jams. What are you eating? What are you listening to? JK to AK, if you're in the chat, in the I know you got something to say about this. Yeah, let's kick off this summer, even though today was 80 degrees and stormy. Let's bring our own internal sunshine to this show, to tonight. Yes. Please. Yes. To tonight. Um, oh, and then It's going to be a real toot tonight yeah, with these Micheladas I'm, I'm, I'm and wings. tonight. <laughs> But yeah, man, I've been like dancing and hanging out and having fun. Uh, I went to Austin over the weekend. Oh, how was that? Like five hours. Oh yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> five so, hours? Why? <laughs> well, because five hours and my man still got that yeah, P. Terry's. You Billy, love to see yeah, it. Billy told yeah, me about this. Yeah, I got this. P. Terry's. So the last time I hung out with my family, my niece wasn't there. She's seven, and she was really bummed she didn't get to see me. Um, so, oh yeah, the good stuff's coming. Um, so my mom was like, oh, we're going to go to McKinney Falls State Park, which I real I didn't realize was like that close to Austin. It's like kind of like in Austin, in the yeah, Austin let's get, area. Yeah, let's get a map going here. McKinney State Park. Um, so we went there, and we got there, and I really had to pee, which is, yeah, yeah. What, I mean, that's a, a theme on road trips for me. <laughs> and, <Yeah>. um, <laughs> hey, you could probably fill one of these full of piss. That's true. That's, that's actually like it's probably, probably better than this stuff. <laughs> um we got to McKinney Falls State Park, and they were like, hey, you need a reservation. You can't come in. Get the fuck out of Too here. Too much rugged beauty for you Are to you come in. Are you smart enough to see that U-turn up there? You know your alphabets? G-T-F-O. Damn. And so we had to go. And um, This could have been you right here. That could have been me, yeah. So that I was like, got, oh, got a pretty yeah. good walking stick. Hell yes, dude. <laughs> Down to clown with wings. So I was like, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the p terry's by like uh zilker falls or whatever zilker falls which is like a street one. there's like a creek or spring there or whatever what, what is what is, what is this p terry shaped like because that was my favorite thing about p terry's it's, it's like the architecture is different for everyone it's like an old sit out one it's like only drive through and picnic tables on the side there's no inside Ooh. so it's like old school burger stand and then we're eating our burgers, and across the street, there's a putt-putt place called Peter Pan. Oh, oh, I know. You're at the OG. That's the first one. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's OG P. Terry's. So we were there. OGP. And then we went and played uh, putt-putt golf until we got exhausted by the heat and the sweat. <laughs> and so we drove to the Salt Lick, which is like famous barbecue place um, in the hill country south of Austin. And like had some wine and some brisket outside. My niece played on the playground there. <laughs> And then it sounds like the sleepiest fucking day. <laughs> yeah, my mom drove back and I was happy not to drive. Uh, she got a lot of fudge at Bucky's, it gave me fudge. And I went to hung out with, hang out with some people and I brought a bottle of wine, some beers, and just like a big bag of fudge. And I was like, I hope y'all are ready to party. What kind of, what kind of fudge are we talking? There like was your standard fudge. Banana pudding, Rocky Road, dark chocolate sea salt, some peanut butter. And uh, I think that was it. Was this like a fudge sampler? How'd you have so much fudge? This rules. It was like buy four, get two free. So and you don't have any right now? Kinds of fudge. No. What are we going to do with all these wings? Connor, oh, we're going to have man. to eat them. But let me, uh, let me get some of these micheladas out of the way. <laughs> got a lot of table. Or do you want to wait till the end of the show? What are we at? 8.35? I got all dry wings, so they will survive a little wait. No one's calling in, so we might as well eat directly into the mic. <laughs> That's right. true. As, as punishment. Forcing people wait, to Wait, wait, wait. Bring it out. I forgot. We I have the song queued up. Okay. Here it comes. <laughs> Do you know this song, Billy? I, I know the one part. Okay, cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Let's start to the left. A wing a watch 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 we we watch the wings 
All right, Ned, this one's right. yours. Okay, cool. <laughs> Give me that. Nice. I'm going to get this shit out of the way. We got that blue cheese coming down the pipeline, baby. Billy, this one's yours. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, my God. What's everyone doing tonight? Y'all eating? Y'all doing anything? Y'all winging it up? Wingtown? So, would it be a spoiler or in bad taste to, to spill the beans that we tried to get thigh stop? Nah, that's all right. We tried to get thigh stop, and <laughs> Connor, was it you who called? Yeah. Th- they sounded audibly annoyed. Oh, wait, no, no, Ned. Yeah, they we both, we both called the, the, uh, the first location. Uh, I won't dox the location. Uh <laughs> And he called the first location and went straight to their voicemail and said uh, their voicemail was full, which was odd. Uh, and then, yeah, the other one I called it. <laughs> I had to go, uh, do you guys have those new uh, Wingstop thighs? And they're like, huh? I was like, the, the Wingstop thighs that are being uh, advertised a lot, I guess, on YouTube. And they're like, huh? Oh, you're talking about the thigh stop thighs. Yeah, and I said thighs, and they said fries? I said thighs, and they said, oh, you have to order those online, a.k.a. please hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you go on their website, they basically said, like, every wing stops a thigh stop now. So I was like, oh, that was quick. And I guess they kind of jumped the gun there. I yeah. guess I just didn't call thigh stop. I called wing stop. And maybe that's what makes me have like, you tried fucking to, yeah. stupid. Alan Barker's asking, have you tried to wing stop corn? I have had the corn from wing stop. It's very good. <laughs> they put a lot of nice spices on it. I don't know that I have tried their... Well, I might have. Yeah, are we showing off our wing haul or anything? Oh, yeah. I Is got... It, okay, wait. so it's Monday, so it's 60 cent boneless night. Yeah. And we all got boneless wings. Yeah. Drinking okay. a uh, standard... Or eating... <laughs> that might be drinking it. We'll see how much sauce is on it. Uh, standard hot right now. I'm going to have some Louisiana dry rub after that. Crack. That is what Wing Watch is now. We are, <laughs> you are watching us watching eat us wings. <laughs> yeah. um, I got lemon pepper and dry garlic. Um, I just wanted dry boys so my chicken could stay as crispy as possible. Didn't want too much moisture there. Um, and who doesn't like garlic parm? And I mean, what what flavor? What does it matter? I'm gonna be dunking it in blue cheese. You actually uh, the flavor to- I get is secondary. Every wing is just blue cheese flavored. <laughs> I got Cajun and lemon pep because y'all know me. Man, you said hot lemon pep though, and that really got my hopes. I up. miss hot lemon pep. That really got my hopes. Hot up. lemon pepper was very good. What what made it hot? Can we just like get a seasoning to throw on top of that? Can we DIY it? Oh, hot sauce with lemon pepper. Yeah, we got hot sauce here. We got mm-hmm. gator sauce. Mm. We do got gator sauce. It was a good sauce. Oh yeah, that was a good sauce. I'm sorry that got decimated. At Ellen Bodker said, "Have you tried Wingstop.com?" I did. Oh, I tried the official app. Uh, y'all for nuggies? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it oh, looks like I got a missed call. Is Do Not Disturb on again? What's going on here? Number goes straight to voice. Yeah, I'm going to play a voicemail real quick. All right. Hey, this is Daryl from Thigh Stop. I'm returning a call from this number. Please give me a call back at your earliest convenience. Okay, Thank you. Call, this call him back. Oh, man. Daryl has a sexy voice. Thank you for calling Thigh Stop. This is Daryl. Hey, Daryl. This is the FM Rager Boys with Billy. Um, I'm sorry, who? This is the FM Rager Boys with Billy. Uh, we were calling uh, because you know who we are. Don't play fucking dumb. Yeah, you subscribe. Um, we see it. If I say yeah. it's Billy with the FM Rager Boys, does that ring any bells? No, I'm going to have to ask you guys to cut to the chase. What is it you're inquiring about? Uh, well, you called us, bud. Um, and we were I'm, trying to figure out what's going on with these thighs at the thigh stop. Uh, I mean... I think there may be some confusion. I got a call from you earlier. Uh, this particular thigh stop is not uh, particularly known first as a restaurant. Particular, particular. Are you getting too deep down? Yeah, we're asking for thighs, and all well, we're getting are whys. Uh, wait, hold we're on here. We're getting questions. What, what do you mean it's not known as a restaurant? What, what is thigh stop? Well, primarily known. Uh, we do offer a lunch buffet uh, for all gentlemen who come in, but... We are primarily an entertainment establishment as well as a gambling game room that only pays out tickets and never cash if you're the police. Oh. Yo, oh. strip club? This is a, yeah. Wait, you know my Aunt Miranda, don't you? Miranda Devereaux? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was Excellent always bringing home wings, and when she <laughs> talked about Thigh Stop, I thought she could get me the hookup, but 
all she they were the worst wings I've ever had in my life, and just like a weird like paper thin steak she would get. I was like, I didn't think it was a buffet, but Daryl, okay, now it's starting to click. Well, wait, is this William? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Hi. Oh, I remember your voice. Oh, you used to bring me the. Uh, I remember you had the key to like the homies' toys. <laughs> That's exactly right. You used to give me all the homies toys and bounce me on your knee. Oh, my God, Uncle Daryl? How's it going, Will? It's going good. Hey, oh can God. you ask your uncle or whatever if he can get at the thighs? Yeah, or some homies toys. Yeah, what's up? Uh, what you got going on with these thighs and homie toys? Well, I got to tell you, um, we are all out of homies toys. Fuck. Um. But no, it's okay. We've replaced them with the more modern, more current, uh, multinational friends. I'm down with that, you know. I want to explore, like, other cultures of uh, bubble toys. Sure, yeah. Um, The machine is a little greased over, but that's okay. Uh, If you come in, honestly, it's just there to... We have to have a certain percentage of our sales uh, as merchandise, so we just kind of, you know... Y'all sell shirts? We do sell shirts, yeah. And it's what do they so got on them? Uh, usual stuff. Uh, the thigh stops here. Um, just some fun slogans like that. I, li- I like the thighs top. I'm talking about above the thigh, my friends. Ooh. So if we're like... Oh, no, you're thinking of our sister club, the waistband. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So if we're like three Anyways. young men, we're pretty hungry. How many thighs would you recommend for each of us? Like, what's Ooh, an order yeah. for three young hot studs who are hungry? Hey, you got three guys. I recommend six thighs. Six <laughs> thighs. Yes, sir. All right. Mm-hmm. Couple of hunks Call- that are young, dumb, and far from hung. Y'all got lemon pepper? Uh, she's working, I think, Wednesday. <laughs> Ali oop. <laughs> Six. Anyway, thighs. guys, I gotta go. There's a grease fire in the kitchen. Bye. <laughs> Good shit. I miss Daryl. <laughs> yeah, he's, he sounded pretty in- influential to your life. He was very instrumental. You know, like he had the key to all the cool. I don't. You know. Yeah. I mean, they you were. You gotta pass those fries. Or what's going on with those? <laughs> oh yeah, you want some? Yeah. Well, too bad. Oh. They're going in the Michi. <laughs> this is the fry stop. Should we garnish with a fry? Uh, somebody, uh, uh, Haunted Fortress said we could dump, drop our wings into the Michelada and it would taste better. Oh, yeah. I actually, pass me a fry over there. It's like using a uh, using your Frosty with your fries at Wendy's. Yeah. Um, I'm about it. I'll try it. Is there is there a Michelada uh, version of a sour where I can like put sour candy into a sour beer and just make it more sour? You know what I mean? You could try it. You get like it's, some it's more like, heads. I just like shake uh, sour Skittles, the powder out of it into a, a cup, pour my beer in it, stir it around, put a couple yeah. gummy worms around the edge. So I do have a Costco card, so we could go get just warheads in bulk. Oh yeah, try this out. Yeah. We should try that next week. Hmm. Hmm. We have a we have a chef on next week, and I'm sure it would drive him nuts. Yes. <laughs> get him, I'm a, very get him a couple of donchiladas and twangs. Get him to review those. Trying to fix this up. phone issue here. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, cool. I'd uh, probably be interviewing Billy, but like, how are your wings? Uh, I haven't gotten to the wings yet. Okay, I'm good. You haven't got now. to the wings yet? What are you doing? I'm, just, I'm slowing up the interview, is what I'm doing unintentionally. <laughs> it's, it's 844, so you better uh, get to being interviewed. No, I'm kidding. Why the, why the fuck is this not working? Okay, someone else uh, call in if you want to. Only Wait. if you want to. Smirnoff prep. Hey, oh, don't even. Can you call in and tell us about these Smirnoff preparatas? And also, y'all in the chat, when was the last time you iced somebody? <laughs> oh, man, I have a great story about getting iced. Tell um, it until somebody goes Yeah, please. In. I used to go to a friend's house out in the country, and um, we would all, like, cook and hang out and get really drunk, and I used to make oh, wait, mashed got, potatoes all the time. We got a call coming in here. What up? You're on the air with FM Rager. All right, I got a delivery coming, so I only got a minute. Um, <laughs> 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 so preparadas are like, and Valdivia in the chat probably knows more about it than I do, but 
it's like you got your michelada mix if you want it, but it's all sorts of stuff. You got your like frozen slushy, sour candy, Ooh. like, you know, chili mangoes, fresh fruit. But mm. like you can get it like with a michelada, but you can also just get it with like fucking booze. So just check out the pin board I shared and uh, get you guys some preparadas in your life. I absolutely will. Thank you so much. You're welcome, boys. Yeah. Bye-bye. Whoa! I've seen those. Do they got Mountain Dew Parados? They had these at that, uh, that burger stop we oh. used to go to in your old office. Or near our current office. I <laughs> went to a place out in Pasadena that uh, made great these. <laughs> <laughs> Preparatus. <That> looks... <laughs> yeah. Fucking nuts. Preparadas. That's bad. Chat's going to hate me again. You're going to call me cultural appropriation, Jason Schwartzman. It's like Raspa on crack. Do gratis. <laughs> you can pass oh, wow. it down. All right, which, which drink is this, chat? Can we can we talk about whatever this... Oh, it's a guy making it. Never mind. Just These are summer somewhere. aid Kool-Aid splashes. <laughs> or what did he say? Summer fun Kool-Aid splashes? I don't know. I accidentally created an infinity loop on accident. Whoops. Oh, yeah, so I was out in the country for a weekend, and we'd all make this big dinner, and we'd all have a thing we would make. And I always make mashed potatoes because I make really good mashed potatoes. How do you make and, them? Um, just, mash them. You, you don't over mash them. I do it by hand. I like a little bit of texture in there. I don't like it super smooth. I like a little bit of chunks of potato in there. But you don't want to overwork the potato because you don't want too much starch in there, and you don't want it to get gluey. And then, like, lots of butter. Lots and lots of butter. Get down with it. Um, I make really good mashed yeah. potatoes. I just put a lot of butter in them. But imagine the trick people is you gotta hearing mash me, the butter. Yeah. <laughs> imagine people hear me talk like that about mashed potatoes for three years, and then one year, like, icing's a thing. And we're all, like, at the table. We're like, Billy, will you give me some mashed potatoes? And I was like, yeah. And I put the spoon in. And I'm like, what? Why isn't this coming up? And then I pull it out, and there's a smear knife. In your in potatoes. Mashed potatoes. I had to wipe all the potatoes off. And here's what's even better. How big of a mashed was, potato bin were you eating out of? It was a hot Smirnoff ice because it had been sitting <laughs> in so mashed potatoes. And so I had to, I got ice with a hot You walked away Smirnoff from your mashed ice. potatoes and somebody just shoved a bunch of Smirnoff in there? It or was one. Smirnoff? It was a single. It was for me. Wow. It was a hit. It was a job. It was an inside job. That Did is you drink truly it? Truly an inside job. I drank it. I had to. <laughs> that was before I just would say fuck it. Now anything, you know, that's why I stopped playing like beer pong. Like I'll drink when I decide to. I yeah. don't need like someone else tell me. So I'd be like, oh, you, like I'll go to a different party if I'm ruining this party. Yeah, I'll Ned and I have been icing each other, but we have a pretty loosey goosey like you don't have to drink yeah it instead, instead of drinking it we look at it and we go dang it yeah <laughs> and, then, and then it just sits in my uh studio for like six months <laughs> i mean if someone did it to me now i'd probably think it was really funny and i would drink it like it at the time though it was not just the like one we're doing it's huge yeah we have like a uh, uh 32 ounce it's like family size oh. you can get one with your costco card <laughs> yeah or like how they have those heineken kegs smearing off ice keg. <laughs> Shaped like your mom's perfume bottle, so no one has to know. Ooh, boil the taters with garlic cloves. That sounds nice. Ned, how are your wings tonight? My wings are fantastic. These uh, Louisiana dry rubs are very crunchy. I know you wanted to trade yeah, for one. Uh, my Cajuns are awesome, so I'm holding off until the end of the show, and no I'm going to fucking devour them, and then I'll make the trades. I, yeah, I, I haven't eaten the uh, dry rubs on camera yet because I realized they were like the crunchiest thing in the world, and uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I did it. I've been crunching real hard. I'm sorry. I know, I heard Danny it. Masterson recipe for mashed potatoes is just bricks of butter with a potato in it. Danny Masterson to is that the hide from like that, the, 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 the one who's in trouble? Yeah, the rapist? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I think that's Danny. Y'all remember that um, part in Soul Plane where a guy uh, thinks he's fingering a chick, but his fingers are just in mashed potatoes? <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> What's no, your, you guys don't remember that? What's your favorite <laughs> sex comedy? <laughs> we were talking about Austin Powers earlier. We were talking about Austin Powers. It's by Shag Me. <laughs> Felicity Shagwell. <laughs> Do not call that. I got it. Are you I calling it? I just received it? the number for the Smirnoff hotline. All right, let's call it. This is, is this what oh, this show is turning also, into like, again? <laughs> yeah. Call in and tell us the last time you watched any media before 2010 that was wildly insensitive. <laughs> Because it's hard to go back and think, watch things from my childhood. Thank you for calling Smirnoff. Our office is currently closed. We are here to assist you Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. You can visit us online anytime at www. 
smirnoff.com. Bleep that and, out. <laughs> as always, drink responsibly. If you'd like to leave us a voice yeah, now, please press 1. Is not available. Please leave what? a message after the oh, tone. Okay, okay. When you are finished, you, you may hang up we or press 1 for special options. Uh, I got ice. I just got ice uh, recently. What do I do? I got uh, ice. Who do I call? I can't get this ice oh out of God. me. I got ice. I don't know. A bottle don't it got in. through my throat, and now I can't. Uh, I'm in front of I my crush. I can't also, chug it. Where should I hide mine? No. <laughs> okay. Do you think they get up like 50 of those a day? <laughs> no. I think that's the first voicemail I've gotten all year. And then uh, <laughs> that person also said, the Spidey who shagged me. <laughs> Not the Spidey shagged me. No, the Spidey shagged me. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, they pronounce it differently than I thought. Me too. They said Smirnoff, right? They were like, Smirnoff. You got a Smirnoff. Maybe they're from the Midwest. Drink a Smirnoff. Smirnoff. Oh, Smirnoff. yeah. We're going to get a, a Smirnoff. Smirnoff. It's Ludafisk and oh, Smirnoff Oh, you got to get a Smirnoff, don't you know? <laughs> Hey, tune in this Wednesday to watch um, Wednesday Night Rager as Necromancy finishes up um, Puzzle Agent. Puzzle Agent. Yeah. Last that's week a good was game. last week was so fucking fun. He went on Dude, for like yeah. three hours. <laughs> yeah, I, and I the think chat it was, was alive. Yeah. No, no, no. There were well, other no, people. N- there were other people, but you and I were. Oh, oh we, we were. We got into a big sauce debate. We were talking we about got into a sauce debate. Oh, wait, wait. Bring oh, you didn't hear about debate. this? All right. Connor got real salty at me because I I was really repping Popeye sauce hard. Billy had a take. That I, my knee jerk reaction came out. Uh, Billy, yeah. why don't you tell him to take? Was it a Caribbean we knee were, jerk? We were talking about the best sauces, and I said, you know, I really like Popeye's sauce. I think their Mardi Gras mustard's great. That, I think their buffalo well, it has like a hint of celery <laughs> seed is great. I'm not exactly. You did you <laughs> just say Popeye's sauce? Because that sounds like a lunatic would say that. <laughs> yes, yes. He said Popeye's has the best sauce. Tbh, and I immediately <laughs> said. What what the hell is this bullshit take? I got very upset about it. But I, then you explained the sauces, yeah. and I thought about it, and I was like, Billy's right. Wait, per wait, capita, so, they've got the best sauces. So you're they saying best sauces, sauces like like a restaurant just has like sauces on hand. That's what you're saying? Well, they got their tender sauces. But, but I'm saying the, the debate here, or uh, I suppose. Yeah, we like, were just talking about different sauces we like. Like I talked about how I like Wendy's honey mustard because it's really gloopy and unnatural, yeah. but I kind of like that about yeah. it. Yeah, and it yeah. all started because I mentioned I didn't like mustard or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what's what what's your, uh, do you not like all mustards or just like yellow mustard I like, or just dirty I, mustard? I hate yellow mustard. I like mustard I could chew. <laughs> Like a dirty, uh, like a grainy mustard. mustard. Yeah, mustard I good. I get more into that. But yellow mustard, it just reminds me of baby shit, and it tastes, oh, wow. it smells awful, and I will not have it. I don't want to meet the babies, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they I'm, may- I'm trying to keep my mustard love alive, man. I love all mustard. Don't worry, they all live on Coney Island. <laughs> just hot oh yeah, babies. and Ellen Barker said, I said Wingstop has the best ranch, and Romano's has the best Italian, whipped Italian. That's oh, that's, that's all true. Oh, yeah, we got a call coming in here. But Italian. before we say anything, Tiny Champion as the best ranch in Houston. Oh, Hello, yep. welcome to FM Rager. Hey, everybody. This is uh, this is Paul, the party animal. Yay! 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 Hi, Paul. I, know, I know you guys are wrapping up the show, but I wanted to, uh, you know, because I'm really in the party. I'm having my party mix right now, but I wanted to give um, Billy some props there on the Uncle Frank. I just made the recipe myself. You coughing? My you coughing goodness. hard? I'm going to be drinking that all week. All yes. summer. So I, I can't wait for uh, what other recipes you got in store. For You're going to smell like a trapped man, buddy. You're going <laughs> to love it. Paul, I already do. Paul, real quick. Did oh, you, shit, use... you should have the 127-hour shot then. <laughs> <laughs> did you use your you'll own belly? You'll get so drunk, you'll cut off your arm. <laughs> did you use your own belly button lint or someone else's? This is what I'm curious about. Oh, I always got plenty of uh, belly button lint. Okay, because okay, actually, uh, that's that's what really. I mean, I, I never put hot dog water in a drink before, but I always like to garnish my drinks with uh, belly button lint anyway. So it's, uh, it's a nice. Taste it's really taste. good. It helps filter out a lot of the impurities. I You'd think that's why I'm using the twang belly button lint. That's my problem. I need to just use my own. Billy, yes. twang brand. Billy, have you ever called it your belly button? No. Ah, oh, that's like three decades of missed opportunities. No, the show can't end this way. I need to reclaim my glory. Paul, what restaurant has the best sauce? We want to know from you. The best sauce? Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, we just a sauce from a place or like homemade sauce or what are we Well, I about? think the argument is best sauces across the board. Yeah. So best McDonald's, sauce selection, I guess. Popeye, yeah. Which one had the better sauce selection? Any, they need to have three or more sauces and they all need to be stellar. 
I don't know. You can't go wrong. See, everyone loves to go with the Chick-fil-A sauce, but the Polynesian Chick-fil-A sauce is highly underrated, so I got to mm. go with that one. Mm. Oh, hell yeah. I was going to say uh, good. they've changed their buffalo sauce, but their old buffalo sauce was like c- clear somehow, and it was so fucking good. It was like super vinegary. Mm. Uh, oh, don't even. Really okay. good one. Oh, don't even pitch the creamy jalapeno from Chewy's. I agree. Ooh, that, that is, is a, a good very one. good one. Oh, yeah. I like good one. That's a good one. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, Billy, I, I want to give you your chance to defend your stance. What are the Popeye sauces? Um, so Mardi Gras Wait, mustard. Do we, do we need Paul for this? <laughs> yeah, Paul. Stay oh, yeah, on the Paul line. stay on the line. Paul stay on the line. All right, Mardi Gras mustard is my favorite prepared mustard that any restaurant has ever had. Their buffalo sauce has like a hint of celery seed taste in it. That's really good. Mm. Um, their barbecue sauce is great. Their blackened mm. ranch is mm. really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They have a spicy ranch right. that's really good. Yep. I've never gone wrong with any sauce I've gotten there. And, you know, at least they always have the sauces. Popeyes, you never know what you're going to get when you go there. Yeah. And like, we're out of all chicken. Would you like... <laughs> Uh, just could, sauce. We just yeah, we have corn on the cob and gravy. We can give you gravy <laughs> on the cob. That's it. All right, we're we're getting close <laughs> to the end of the show here, but Paul, please stay on the line. We're gonna sing our plug song real quick, and we'll let you answer the question and also plug some stuff. So stay on the line. We'll get right to you. Hang tight. You got it. And sing along if you know the words. I want a new plug. Tell, Tell us what's going, going on. on. Tell us all the stuff you're doing after we sing this song. All right, Billy, what do you have to plug? Um, I am Terrible Trim on Instagram. Uh, Instagram's the only social media I use. And I've been jamming with Ned and some other friends of ours. Um, so I'm hoping by like August or September we'll be able to start playing shows. Um, and just tune into my Instagram. And when that's ready to be announced, I'll let you know. Great. Hell yeah. Ned, what do you have to plug? Uh, at Ned of the Dead on everything. Uh, go follow at Swimwear Department. And also, uh, three members of Swimwear Department are now playing in a Presidents of the United States cover band. That's the band that plays Lump and Peaches. If you want to see us play those fantastic songs, you should head over to Red Dwarf at 8 p.m. on Saturday. Only, uh, I think, 10 bucks. Uh, I can tell you that right now as I pull it up on the... The old Facebooks. <laughs> uh, but there's going to be a Weezer cover band. It's going to be real excited. Uh, you know, they're playing the hits, the the hits, the shits, and all the stuff in between. So come check it out. Uh, I'll post this link in the chat. I'll be there, buddy. Yeah, there, there's the information. Bingo. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, I would like to plug We're Calling It. There's a new episode dropping this week, I believe on Wednesday. Tomorrow, there's going to be a new episode of Emily Takes Notes, which means that We'll have another post for Emily Takes Notes later on this week. Go ahead and follow at Embalees, E-M-B-A-L-E-E-Z, to keep up to date with everything Houston City Council. Oh, my God. I'm typing so many links. <laughs> and We're Calling It is not available on iTunes. It likely will not be available on iTunes. Apple is being a real pain in the keister, meester. Uh, follow me at Cliftocurrency. It's only funny shit over there. Uh, Paul, stay on the line. Um, all right, Billy, do you have any closing words for our audience? Uh, get the Mardi Gras mustard at Popeye's. All right. Thank you so much. That's our show. Paul, stay on the line. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>